Just imagine your computer has an antivirus program that resembles every single virus it has ever encountered. Next time the same virus tries to enter or attack, the antivirus immediately recognizes and deletes it. Now imagine bacteria have a similar kind of system inside them. CRISPR is that system. Now let's talk about what CRISPR is. CRISPR stands for Clustered Regularly Interspaced Short Palindromic Repeats. Let's break it down. Clustered means found grouped together. Regularly interspaced means the segments are evenly spaced like bricks in a wall. Short. These are short sequences of DNA. Palindromic means, just like a word, madam, reads the same forward and also backwards. These DNA sequences, they are symmetrical. They can be read the same way in both directions. And finally, repeat means again and again. In bacteria, CRISPR is a part of their DNA that stores snapshots of viruses that have attacked them in the past. These snapshots are actually short sequences of viral DNA saved as a memory. Think of it as a wanted poster board in a police station where every time a virus invades, the bacteria cut out a piece of DNA and paste it into its own DNA for future references. Now let's understand what are spacers and repeats. Inside the CRISPR region, the bacterial DNA has two main parts. Repeats, these are the identical DNA sequences that repeat at a regular interval. Spacers, these are the viral DNA pieces that the bacteria have memorized. Each spacer comes from a different virus. So it looks like this. Repeat spacer virus 1, again repeat spacer virus 2, again repeat spacer virus 3 and so on. An easy example is a photo album. Each repeat is like a photo frame and the spacer is the actual picture inside it, showing the face of a different virus. Now comes the action hero of this system, which is Cas9. Cas stands for CRISPR associated. Cas9 is an enzyme, specifically a nuclease, which means it can cut DNA molecule. If CRISPR is the database of past criminals, which is, let's say, viruses, then Cas9 is the security guard with Caesars trained to attack any matching intruder. But Cas9 doesn't recognize the virus on its own. It needs instructions. That's where guide RNA comes in. What is guide RNA molecule? From the CRISPR memory bank, which are spacers, the bacteria create small pieces of RNA molecules that match the DNA of the invading virus. These are called guide RNA molecules because they guide Cas9 to the exact target. Think of this like a search command in your browser. You paste a specific word, a sequence, in the search bar and it highlights the matching text on the page. The guide RNA is doing just that. It scans the virus DNA for a match. Once it finds the match, it signals Cas9 to cut there. Next is, what is PAM? Before Cas9 can cut, it checks for a special code near the target site. It's called PAM, which is shorter form for protospacer adjacent motif. It is a very short DNA sequence like NGG found next to the virus target sequence. Now let's understand why PAM is important. Let's say you are trying to cut a thread in a shirt, but only if there is a button nearby. The button is your PAM. Without it, Cas9 won't act even if the target thread is correct. This is how bacteria avoid cutting its own CRISPR regions because their stored sequences don't have PAM nearby. How does Cas9 cut the DNA? Once the guide RNA matches the target DNA and PAM is present, Cas9 becomes active. It uses two cutting domains called RUVC and HNH to make the double strand break. It cut both strands of DNA at the exact location. This is like cutting a rope in two with scissors. Once the viral DNA is cut, the virus can no longer function. It's as good as dead. That means the bacteria has successfully defended itself. 
Now let's come to the final point which is why CRISPR is so important. The beauty of this system is how programmable this is. By simply changing the guide RNA, Cas9 can be directed to almost any DNA sequence. It's like having universal seizures. You just need to give a new instruction and it will cut wherever it want. That's why scientists got so excited because nature already built a precise and powerful tool for gene editing and we just had to learn how to use it. All right, thank you so much for watching the video. If you are new to the channel, then please do subscribe to the channel. Thank you and take care.